Hey guys, uh, this is Andrew again, and I'm going to take you really quickly through the workflow for the Gear 360 camera. And I'm going to try to keep this particular video as simple as possible because the process for 360 post-production, the cameras and the editing software that make it possible, that's changing almost as fast as I can put together tutorials for them. I Right now, as I shoot this, there are 360 video editing plugins that either are about to become available or are available for free uh, for Apple users and for people who edit on Adobe or uh, Final Cut Pro. And of course, we'll, we'll point you toward those tools and those uh, post-production techniques on our blog. So we will have you covered in other tutorials. But for now, uh, well, we'll start with the basics on getting the Gear 360 uh, ready for editing. So to start, make sure you've turned the camera off. We're going to open the chamber and take out the micro SD card. Now, if your computer has a built-in SD card reader, um, you might want to use one of these little adapters. Slide the micro SD card in there. And now my computer doesn't, so I use this, a Transcend USB 3.0 adapter with a micro SD slot. So put that in. And all right, so the computer program that processes Gear 360 footage is called the Gear 360 Action Director, which you can find. We'll link you to it uh, on the kit page, so you can download it and install it onto your computer. When you install it, they'll ask you to enter a serial number, which you can find on the little mini tripod that comes with the Samsung Gear 360, or at the bottom of the container. And then once you've entered it, you're ready to go. So once we've got the Action Director installed and our files from our micro SD card open, we're going to open up the Gear 360 Action Director. And when that opens up, we're going to go to File, Import Media Files, and import the 360 video files from our SD card. Now when it imports, you'll see that the Action Director recognizes it as a 360 video. And you can see a little progress bar here starting to fill out. That means the Action Director is stitching and rendering the 360 video as a single panorama. So I'm going to speed the video up here. Uh, the clip is about 10 seconds long, and it took just around one minute to render, so I would plan your timing accordingly. So once that's finished, you have a 360 video fully stitched, which you can preview here in the program window. And from there, all you need to do is go to the file, right-click, select Open File Location. And there it is, the folder that has your stitched 360 video file. And you can take it from here. You can drag and drop the file into Adobe Premiere, or whatever your choice of video editing, editing software is, and edit it like you would any other video. Now with 360 videos, before you upload it, you have to make sure it has the metadata that identifies the video as 360. And if you're editing several videos together in Premiere, you'll want to export your edit with 360 video metadata. So we'll go to Export. And um, on the Export settings, make sure that the um, Video is VR option is checked. And in this case, you have the frame layout set to monoscopic. And we'll hit Export and you're good to go. Now if you're not satisfied with the way the automatic stitch from Action Director looks, or if you prefer to have more manual control over your image, there's a really, really helpful tutorial on Metal Skybox's website on how to manually stitch together a dual sphere video yourself. And that's a process you do with Skybox, Adobe After Effects, and a specially made template for After Effects. And we'll give you a link to that tutorial on the kit page if you're interested. Until then, that should get you started. Now for the next steps on editing and post-production on your 360 video, check out our tutorials at sandbox.video. Thanks for watching, guys.